So you guys have seen the Rolex teaser for the upcoming releases at the Watches and Wonders Fair, well, next weekend. And there's one thing that's missing, and it's the color green. Over the last five years, we've had an explosion of green in watches. Just as Rolex ended the production of the Hulk, green as a theme came back strong. Whether it's the John Mayer Daytona, the Rolex Kermit, the new one, or the Oyster Perpetual in green, this theme has been running at quite the pace. Green is also the brand theme color of Rolex, right up from their website color palette to their ADs. Many competing brands, well, pretty much all luxury brands, have come up with their own green iterations to capitalize on this trend. But Rolex being the trendsetter, are they moving away from green? So this brings about a few questions. Firstly, will the new Kermit, Starbucks, Sermit, however you call it, be discontinued, essentially the Submariner with the green bezel? Will that go this year? Secondly, will we see yet another watch with a green dial in the Rolex 2024 catalog? Thirdly, will Rolex pick a new theme to set the next trend? And the last question, will Tudor pick up where Rolex leaves off? So if green is sort of discontinued, not really because it's, it's a brand color of Rolex, but if we see less releases with green in it, does that mean that Tudor will start producing some green watches? So here on out, we're basically just speculating and this is not based in fact, I do not work at Rolex. Well, even if you worked at Rolex, you're, well, I guess you're the last person who can say something about it, but I have no insider information. I'm just gonna share a few of my thoughts of the use of green in Rolex watches and watches in general. Firstly, I think this color has been done to death. There is every variation of green under the sun and I don't think we are yet to perfect a shade of green that has not been done. Secondly, after any trend settles, uh, we kind of go back to basics and then go back to subdued colors, a minimalist theme, something like the Submariner. It is very cyclical, but we always end up agreeing at the end of the day, the muted colors do look good. There is, however, an exception to this rule, and that's the color dark blue. All watch brands seem to have decided that black, dark blue, sometimes white, are the standard color palette options for all watches and watch dials, I guess. This is quite interesting because dark blue is not really monotone like black and white, but it's almost there. And it's kind of been adopted as the new, I guess the new black in terms of watch dial combinations and the values they hold. The dark blue one always is favored. So this brings about the question, are we gonna see an addition, a fourth color to this typical color palette of dark green? Is dark green going to be the next standard color that everyone wants along with dark blue, black, and white? There is a possibility, but I think it's rather unlikely and I wouldn't bet on it, but it would be quite cool to see. I just think not everyone agrees that dark green fits in as well as dark blue. So let's answer the main questions. The first one, will the Sermit Starbucks new Kermit be discontinued? I think there's a high possibility and I would say four years is not a long production run, but they're really not discontinuing a model. They're just swapping out a bezel color. So really easy to do and it doesn't really take away from the watch or cost the brand anything. And I guess it makes more sense to discontinue it while it's still popular rather than wait for the, the attention to fizzle out. So most likely I'd say, yeah, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. This is just fun. So on to the next question. Will we see another green release from Rolex in 2024? Possible, but I think unlikely. The teaser trailer kind of showed us no green, but we also saw hardly any dials and the date just day date lines, no green there, but we didn't really get to see the GMT dial. Most likely it's a red. It's probably the Coke, what everyone's speculating, but they might surprise us and uh, have a green right-handed GMT Master. Essentially the, the one that exists, but not the Destro version. Although I do think that's unlikely. I think there's a good chance that we see some variation of red, either in terms of orange or in terms of maroon, both ends of the spectrum. And the possibility of the Coke is ever looming. We're just waiting on that. That's, that is definitely happening sometime, hopefully this year. Third question, will Rolex pick a new theme to set the next trend? That is a new color and introduce that in a lot of ranges. I think not. I don't think Rolex would just start cycling through all the colors that would get too predictable and too boring. And I guess the hype would subside if people knew they could just wait for the next iteration to get the color they want. So I don't think we're following that anymore. If there is a new theme, I think it's back to the minimalist stuff. 
Submariner styled subdued colors. Lastly, will Tudor pick up the green? I think there's a large possibility of us seeing a Black Bay 58 with some green in it. Now Tudor's had the Harrods, which is the Black Bay 41. It's, it's quite an old watch now. And then they did have the Black Bay 58, which was solid gold with a green dial. I wouldn't really count that. I don't think I'm missing any Tudor green watch. So these two, to me, that's just it. And that's kind of insufficient with consideration to how much green means to Rolex as a brand. Now, does that mean that they want to reserve the color for Rolex itself? I don't think so, because we did see the Pepsi combination on the Tudor Black Bay GMTs. So it would be cool to see a Black Bay 58 with a green bezel or a green dial. And I think Rolex might now want to stop doing green for a bit or do less of it and let Tudor have some more green. The point of this video is not to make a bunch of predictions in advance of the watches and wonders and try to figure out or postulate what Rolex is going to release, but it's just that I want to know the enthusiast's opinion, your opinion on the color green, its relevance to Rolex and its overuse and kind of all watches in the market as of now. I want to know that now in advance because opinions really tend to flip-flop as soon as Rolex actually launches their watches. So it's interesting to know what the watch enthusiast is expecting and wants uh, in comparison to what Rolex actually delivers because after they deliver there's always a lot of justifications on why they did it better. That's it. See you in the next vid. Cheers.